I started creating the type for me, with no particular agenda, my problem was, once I started, I couldn't stop. Probably first saw the Doves type or the Doves Press Fountain type um, when I was at art school. And I just thought it was uh, an incredibly elegant typeface. Just type, pure type. It's got real authority and it's, it's very idiosyncratic as well. The type is all and that's a very, very modern approach. For some reason I started to get obsessed with the type, but I didn't really know the story properly then. That's Emery Walker. He's a very important figure in 19th and 20th century design. Cobden Sanderson was all about the modern age. He was a bookbinder, but he was a very influential bookbinder. The reason they created their own typeface was because there was no typeface that he thought suitable. I wanted to make an exact facsimile of the type initially as it was punch cut, as the punch cutter would have cut it. Three different G's, there's another one there. Thousands and thousands of scans that I've just Cross on and on ad infinitum. The thing was, Walker was a professional printer. That he thought it unnecessary to check every single sheet. Cobden Sanderson was, Sanderson was not a professional printer, but he was a perfectionist, so he would check every sheet. You've got the pragmatism versus the obsession, and this is the problem between the two men. Nobody actually quite got it. And Cobden Sanderson writes a letter to the solicitor saying, no, I wasn't talking figuratively. The type is gone. He claimed to believe in beauty, claimed to be a socialist, yet the most beautiful thing he created, he doesn't want to share. And he decides to throw it in the river rather than share it with the world. He said himself in his, in his journals, uh, last night I disposed of some type quietly tipped it in the work of the moment, which uh, I assume means he did it really quick. So, bang, in, off, back home. There was a ton of type, and that's a lot of type for an old man to get rid of by himself. It's probably about 12 to 15 pounds worth of type every trip, 170 trips. The side of the bridge that he threw it from is in his journals. Um, and I just narrowed it down a bit more just by looking at the way the traffic was on the bridge and where he would have concealed himself. The first letter that I found was a V. It's spent 98 years underwater being thrashed about. I managed to find some sort of tucked in here. And I think I was just very lucky. A hundred yards east or a hundred yards west, it would have sunk into the silt and mud. Just felt like I was sort of reaching back into time and just reaching out and, 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 and catching the type as he threw it. He left so many clues. I'm not sure he didn't want somebody to find it. He just didn't want Walker to find it. Now that I've found the metal type, I've also returned it or I'm loaning it to the Emery Walker Trust so it squares the circle. It's a nice end to the story because we only found 150 pieces. Or most of what Cobden Sanderson was trying to achieve is still being achieved because we can't get to the rest of it. In my life, this, the, the obsession with the type has actually, you know, it's caused a lot of problems. I'm not going to be, you know, when you're up all night, trying to get the right curve in the leg of an R and you're spending three and a half hours on it, it doesn't go down too well with your wife. Just being consumed by something is, is hard work. You know, and I need a rest. <laughs> and I've taken it as far as I can. I've, I'm done, I can't take it any further. I cannot take it any further.